actually, uh, that's something that Robin can answer because he came up with the idea to combine those two, two styles actually together. And I, I already for years uh, love to have uh, a song with, with rap in it. Uh, when I was, uh, I don't know, around 14 or something, uh, I, uh, I heard Body Count from uh, Ice T. Uh -huh. Some uh, heavy guitars on there, and uh, I, I totally loved it. And uh, in some way, I, I always thought there was a kind of a similarity between the rap and even death metal. Is um, and, and, and metal that it's just um, I, it, it, it's both heavy. It, it's, it's it's in your face, and uh, yeah, for me. Uh, and uh, on this record, uh, yeah, we had a song where we felt like, well, this this could definitely work with rap. That's, uh, that's how it went off. Well, I think um, from my side of things, um, rock and rap have been identical and symmetrical for some time. Um, I think that it's you know been proven from you know countless groups that have come out. And, you know, you got POD, you got um, you know Lincoln Park, Aerosmith. You, you got Aerosmith. Uh, I mentioned I was like one of the originators, but I think that you know. The aggression in both genres of music is what brings them together and what makes it translate to the to the fans that actually, you know, enjoy both worlds, you know, so it's not a surprise. It's not, but I think that what makes this collaboration different is that Within Temptation has their own audience and they have their own sound, which is different from all of those bands that I actually uh, mentioned, you know, a few seconds ago. And then hip hop coming into that is an original landscape. So I think that this collaboration worked and uh, I enjoy what they bring creatively to the stage. So, you know, it's something that I felt like it was a step forward. It was it, it was originality, you know, at its best. So, you know, uh, the European and the US audiences coming together along with the hip hop audiences coming together for, uh, for Hydra is, is, is something special. And I'm glad I got to be a part of it. Because I piss excellence. <laughs> Duh. 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 <laughs> Obviously. I mean, who else is there? <laughs> <Yeah>. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Enough said. <laughs> no, no. Well, for me, um, I, you know, we really wanted a rapper with a like a, a, a deep voice mm -hmm. because that like a, like a dark voice because it gives a great contrast between them. Sharon's force, which is of course more and more angelic, and um, for us it was really exciting to have a combination with, with, with um, yeah, an American rapper instead of because there's also Holland rappers and in, in Europe there are there are rappers, um, but but it's really this this um, this combination that makes it really special. And uh, watching his interviews also, uh, yeah, his character, his personality is something which really uh, yeah, appealed to me and, and to us. Because uh, yeah, he's a very uh, energetic, uh, positive guy, and, uh, yeah, and I think that's also something which uh, which fits us as a band. Yeah, and, and besides that, that he also has um, done experimental stuff like heavy guitars, oh, yeah, yeah, and that's orchestra, awesome. and we felt like okay, this is an open-minded guy. He's not thinking in the box, but out of the box, like what you can do as col collaboration. Yeah. Wise. Well, I had to Google them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had to figure out who they were. And uh, once I saw the band and I saw what they were doing with their videos and how they relate to their fans, basically the same template. So that's what drew me to actually, you know, considering doing the, 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 the um, collaboration. Once I got the song, it was like, okay, I can do this. So that's how it happened.